Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, I am Steve Chapman. Today we have an unboxing, a new one. You guys have requested it. I reached out and got one of the, here it is, Bass Baits Monthly. I got one of the boxes and I, uh, I haven't looked at it at all. If you don't know what they do, Bass Baits Monthly is a subscription tackle box. It's about $35 and you order this and they send it to you every month. Now you don't know what's in it. Hopefully it's good stuff, but today we're going to look at it and we're going to look at it. We're going to put it up against Monster Bass. This is the one for February. 2021 and like I said I have no idea what's in it but like I said also said you guys have asked for it so today we're going to unbox it and see is it worth the $35 is it better than monster bass does it compare with the lucky tackle box and the mystery tackle boxes and the other subscription boxes that are out there this is what we're going to look at so let's dive in and see what we get in this box Okay, well they started us off with a little thing that shows us how to make a cinch knot. I should mention, if you don't know how to make a cinch knot, just get out of this video right now. Because you shouldn't be fishing. I wouldn't use a cinch knot, I would use a palomar knot, but that's here, here nor there. So this is just a little thing that says... Uh, follow them on Instagram. Oh, you want to know it? If you would like one of these boxes, you can use the pro the code PROMO20 and save 20% off your first month. So if you want one of these, there's a good way to save a couple bucks. So we'll put that away. First, they gave us some owner one ot Mosquito. I don't even know what these are. Mosquito, they're hooks. I don't know if they're live bait hooks. I don't know what they are. They're owner hooks. It's not Daiichi. It's not what I'm using. I'm going to put these, I'll just hold those on. Next, they sent us some Robo Worms, America's number one finesse worm. I have never heard of them. They are a soft plastic made in the USA with a salt release form and they are a live shad baby bluegill just out of curiosity. No, they don't have much smell. But there you go. A small bait. Never heard of Robo Worm. They gave us some stickers, which I'm gonna throw away. Here's a good bait. They gave us a Chatterbait Project Z from Z-Man. Can't really beat that. It is a green pumpkin shad. It is, I don't know what weight it is, but the, oh, it's probably a 3 8 because it's got a very little head on it. Actually, yep, 3 8 but a great, great Chatterbait. That's a positive. Next, they sent us a Santone Lures Rayburn swim jig. Never heard of Santone. This is the color Light Hilton, made in Texas. Oh, of all things, they gave us two of them. This is the same thing, and this one is in mean green. So if I'm going to give it, if I'm going to say what comes off the top of my head, I can tell you right now, I don't like getting two of the same things in one box. Here is why. If I really like it, then I don't have to go buy another one. Because I got two. Now I might like the color better than one color than the other, but this is a flaw. They shouldn't do this. They shouldn't put two in here. Kind of makes me think that maybe they didn't have anything else to put in, so why not just give me another jig? Don't like that. Not that I'm not saying anything about the jig as I drop them. 
I'm not saying anything bad about the jig. I just don't agree with putting two of the same products in one box. Negator. Okay, they also sent a Santone Lures Pretender uh, half ounce spinnerbait in gold shad. Nice, it looks like a good little bait. Not bad. Next, they sent a KVD jerk bait. That one is in Green Gizzard Shad. Also a very nice jerk bait. Can't really say anything bad about that. And then last but not least, looks like it's last but not least, yes. They sent a pack of Power Bait Power Swimmers. So if we look at this, we got the soft plastics, spinner bait. I guess you could call this a little a jerk bait. They gave us the I like this chatter bait. The hooks. I don't even know where I'm going to use those. And then two smaller swim jigs in my box. Um. I know a lot of people have asked me to get this. I've had lots and lots of people get this. This isn't better than Monster Bass. Uh, I can tell you that, I mean, I've never heard of this product before in my life. The KVD is a good one. The Z-Man is a good one. But uh, the rest of the stuff, I've never, I don't know any of these, any of the brands. Oh, I do know Berkeley. Um, but I don't think this is I don't think this is anything fancy. I think you can get these for like four bucks So I don't know if I got thirty five dollars worth of tackle in here to be honest I think the z-man is probably well you want to know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna say I don't know and The next time you see me I'll go price all these out So I'm back. I had to take a, a little step away from here because I thought it would be really important to figure out is this box really worth the $35? Um, and, and how does it compare against Monster Bass, which is really their direct competition? In my opinion, that box that I just opened doesn't compare to Monster Bass. While I am have been very disappointed in a lot of the stuff that's come out of Monster Bass, the named products are still there. While there were some named products with Z-Man and the KVD stuff, the Santone stuff I've never seen, and um, I think this Berkeley stuff is overstock stuff. So, but so that's where I'm where I'm going. What I want to know is fine. I want to know what you think. Uh, would you pay thirty five dollars for that box? If I told you that the box retail was worth forty four ninety three plus whatever those one hot hooks are worth, maybe two bucks. So maybe forty six forty seven dollars. Do you think that that's worth worth it see what what a lot of the problems with these subscription boxes are and I'm I'm one that can't complain about it is you can get one of those boxes and if they're a gift it's a great gift but if you're a a mature and an average angler really you're not worth buying one of those boxes to get more tackle uh, you'll get more tackle, but it's tackle that you won't use. So you're better off just going to a store and purchasing the stuff that you like. That's where Florida Tackle Club comes in. And when they cater the box exactly to your needs and what you like, then everything that you get in that box you're going to use. Truth be told. Truth be told. The chatterbait's the only thing I'm going to keep in that box. That's the truth. The rest of the stuff is stuff that I could get in the bargain bin at Bass Pro Shops or the bargain bin up at Brooker's Tackle or the bargain bin at someplace else at, at, at Academy. Those things, the Berkeley Swimmer, the Robo Worm, the Centauri Swim Jig, and the KVD Jerkbait, those are all things that have been out for a long time. So they don't really help me become a better angler. They actually just help me have more clutter in my box. And really what that's going to be, that stuff over there is going to end up being in the giveaway bin for the kids anyway. 
Anyway, I want to see and hear what you think. So comment below and tell me what you think. If I'm wrong, I have no problem admitting it. I have no problem admitting it. But let's have a, a good, formal, polite discussion about what you think. Will I get this again? No. I just don't think it's worth $35. That's all. I mean, I don't think any of them are worth $35 right now except Florida Tackle Club. And that's scary. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, click the notification bell. Comment below and tell me what you think. We are on our road to 6K. And I've got packages. Lots of them. I've already got six or seven already put together. This might be one. I might give this whole thing away to someone. Because someone will enjoy it a lot more than I will. So subscribe. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel. Guys, I hope you have a blessed day. I hope that you're happy, healthy, and you're able to go fishing. Remember to do a few things. Take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Cheers, and we'll see you soon. Later, guys. Thank you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, click up here. If you want to see our last video, it should be right here. Take a kid fishing, get your fish on. Cheers.